Hello everyone, it's course registration season, which means you might be making some big decisions about the classes that you want to take next year in high school. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in both AP Biology and AP Chemistry. So I'm going to give you an analytical rundown of five different factors that you should compare when you're trying to decide between AP Biology and AP Chemistry, as well as some other things that you might want to think about to make that choice that is best for you. Now, of course, I have experience teaching AP Biology and it is one of my favorite courses to teach, but I'm going to try to be as objective as possible so that you can have the right resources to make the decision that is best for you. So here are the five factors that I'm going to give you information about. Scores, so that's pass rate and the students who are getting fives in the exam. Student numbers, meaning how many students actually take the exam total, which might be a factor in helping you decide whether or not you want to take a more popular or less popular course. In differentiating yourself for a college transcript, for example. College credit, meaning where it's accepted and what scores you need to get in order to get credit in college. The content in the course and lab time. All right, so let's get started. AP Bio versus AP Chem. First, let's talk just plain about the pass rate. Remember, passing an AP exam is considered earning a three or higher on the exam. And in this matchup, AP Bio wins. According to the score reports from last year, 59.2% of all the students who took AP Biology earned at least a three or higher, and 51.3% of all the students taking AP Chem earned at least a three or higher. So in this category, AP Bio wins. But if we look at the number of students earning fives in the exam, only 7.4% of all students taking AP Biology earned a five, and 11.2% of the students taking AP Chemistry earned a five on the exam. This could be a little bit of self-selection, meaning that the students who are taking AP Chemistry are more prepared for the course anyway, but it's just something to think about. Let's talk about student numbers. More students take AP Biology than AP Chemistry. Whether this is a good thing or bad thing for you, just know that there will be more students around the nation and the globe taking this course, so your college transcript may not look a whole lot different from another student in another state or another school if you're trying to differentiate yourself. Last year in AP Biology, over 230,000 students took the exam, and last year in AP Chemistry, only 135,000 students took the AP Chemistry exam. Just something that you might want to think about when you're making your choice. Having more students may be a good thing because you might have more of a support group, there might be more resources out there online to support your needs, or you might even have an option of more opportunities to take the course at your school. But again, having 100,000 less students take the exam for AP Chemistry does make you a little bit more unique when it comes to showing what you've done in your courses on your transcript. All right, let's talk about college credit. A lot of students take AP courses for that college credit that they can earn and then skip over certain classes in college or use it to graduate early or be able to take more classes in college. AP Bio and AP Chem are almost neck and neck with this one, but AP Bio has slightly more that will accept AP Biology exam credit for course credit. Last year, there were 2,068 colleges that took AP Biology exam credit as a replacement for course credit at their college or university. For AP Chem last year, the number was 2,057, so again, it's very close here. But some of those schools require you to earn a five in order to get that college credit. For AP Biology, 192 schools required at least a five in order to get some type of college credit for the AP Bio exam. And in AP Chemistry, 264 schools required at least a five in order to get college credit for the exam. So even though there's a lot of schools that take both the AP Biology and AP Chemistry exam as a replacement for college credit, it may be a little bit more challenging to earn that credit for AP Chemistry. There's databases that you can search and I'll link it in the description of this video below to see if the college that you're interested in applying to actually takes the AP Bio or AP Chem exam score for college credit. My last few are content and labs. Both exams have been redesigned recently, so they have newer course and exam descriptions as of 2020. But in AP Biology, the content is divided up into eight units, whereas in AP Chemistry, the content is divided up into nine units. Many students and teachers agree because of this extra content and the difficulty of the content, it does become a more difficult course. But again, that depends on a lot of different factors, including your background preparation, the teacher, and how comfortable you are with some of the skills that are going to be applied in the class. So whether or not you love labs, you hate labs, or you're taking the class for the lab experience, the College Board said that data does show that the more laboratory experience you have, the better you're going to perform on the exam. The AP Biology course description says that teachers should dedicate at least 25% of their class time to labs. And AP Chemistry says the exact same thing. They also suggest that the minimum number of labs that students in AP Bio classes should perform is eight throughout the year. And in chemistry, the minimum number of labs you should perform is six. Now, if you're in a school without a lot of lab materials or a place where you don't think labs are gonna be performed, you may be at a disadvantage compared to other students going into both of these exams. Because there is a heavy lab requirement in both courses, you may wanna think about whether or not you enjoy doing labs in AP Bio, there should be a few more, and whether or not your school has the ability to perform these labs the right way. It really depends on what your values are and what you're looking for in a course, but hopefully 
hopefully you can use some of this data to help make your decision. Lastly, a few other things that you might want to consider when you're trying to decide between AP Biology and AP Chemistry is the teacher. Does the teacher at your school who teaches the course that you want to take that you're interested in taking have a good reputation and experience teaching the class? Next up, are your friends going to be in the class? This could be a good thing or a bad thing. If you have friends that you know will be distracting, maybe it's not the best year to take the class, or maybe you want to have a study and support group in the class with you. Another thing to think about is the workload and the rigor of the course. Do you have a strong background in chemistry or a strong background in biology? And how much out of class time are you going to be spending on course work? You can find this out by asking other students who are currently in the course or who have taken the class before, but this will depend teacher to teacher and student to student. Next up, does this class meet your needs? Again, is this going to help you pursue a path that you want to follow in college or going to help you reach career goals? Is this going to be something that you love and are interested in? Think about why you want to take your electives and if the class is going to be both an interesting experience for you and something that'll be beneficial to you in the long run. Last up, you may want to consider the math factor. Both courses have a significant amount of math in them. AP Biology, even though you may not be expecting it, does have a lot of math and there are several formulas that you'll need to be able to be familiar with and actually use to calculate certain exam answers. A lot of this math relies on a knowledge of statistics, which you'll probably learn throughout the course, and there's some general probability and algebraic math as well. AP Chemistry does have a reputation of having more math in it than AP Biology, but on the free response questions, a lot of the thinking is going to be conceptual. You're not calculating every single answer and doing math for every single problem on the exam. However, there is a lot of math practice in the course and students generally tend to say that there is a little bit more math that they'll be doing in AP Chemistry as compared to AP Biology. Now again, this math is more algebraic. There's a lot of balancing equations and formulas, so you don't have to have a strong calculus background, for example, to perform well in the math in AP Chemistry. I hope this video has been helpful in making your decision for AP Biology versus AP Chemistry. If you want to see more videos like this where I do more matchups between different AP courses, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.